Football is an extremely rewarding game that's played over 200 nations around the world. With excess of 250 million individuals playing this game, football is also one of the most watched sports. Given its popularity, there's no question that numerous footballers had an option to grab millions of dollars worth for agreements on, you know, certain sports associations, prestigious groups, whatever it is, sponsors, all of it. So if you're listening to this, you'll probably now have names springing up to your mind concerning those who will be on the rundown of the most richest football players. I mean, luxury is something you can't do without as a top footballer. Come on, you make a million dollars a month, you're not going to buy a new car as soon as, you know, you feel like it. You're not just gonna, like, oh, I chipped the nail, time to buy a house. That's, that's what I would do. Anyways, football players kind of rule the world. I mean, depends on what part, like, if football is your world, then yes, they do rule the world. But, ah, uh, like, anyways. They not only have to speak to their audience's heartstrings, but literally approach to everything, yes. It's not, like, that easy to become a professional footballer, but it does come with a hefty paycheck, so that's nice. And do you ever happen to wonder what happens with all of this moolah? Well, stop right there, because these are ten of the most stupidly expensive things that football players own. Ta-da! So, this is owned by none other than the one who loves to hit the club, Neymar. The beautiful yacht called Nadine that Neymar owns is surprisingly 25 meters long, uh, to which I hope isn't the only long thing that Neymar has appropriate. Well, unfortunately, his, uh, yeah, it's been seized by the government. I meant the yacht, not his fat bleep. Anyways, uh, the yacht is surely the second most expensive thing on Neymar's list because the first one is way more expensive and it's definitely gonna blow your mind. Paris Saint-Germain star and Brazil global Neymar has flaunted pictures of himself close by his customized Mercedes helicopter. The 29-year-old isn't very shy in hiding his craving of making every second count and making the most out of his distinction and fortune. And now he's shared a picture of himself presenting before the customized vehicle, of which he sits proudly in the front garden of his staggering Rio de Janeiro home, a customized helicopter, which is based entirely off of Neymar's favorite superhero, Batman. Dude, yeah, that's pretty cool. The whole interior of the helicopter is based on the theme of Batman's Batcopter. How crazy is that? Neymar really got, you know, his own name logo. Yeah, and he really did that because he is Neymar. Get it? It's a, it's a Batman joke. No? Stop rolling your eyes. I'm a person too. Moving on. When talking about crazy expenditures, how can we leave out Antoine Griezmann? I mean, out of all the crazy stuff, he's decided to be exclusive. So he went out and he spent a half million dollars on the iciest and the rarest watch in the entire world. Rolex's bread and butter is intentional game watches made for jumpers or race car drivers. Griezmann's is amazingly not that. Except if you consider flexing on everybody inside a 10 mile radius, is a professional purpose. The amount of bling in this single watch is kind of stunning. The rainbow impact of the bezel is accomplished with 36 loaf-cut sapphires. There are, there are 56 extra precious stones looking at it. And, and afterwards, one more 11 sapphire on the dial subbing for the hour markers. Even the hands are made from rose gold. I mean, now that's something that shows off. As one of the greatest soccer players of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo has managed to achieve basically everything imaginable. He can fly now. With major endorsement and sponsorship deals, Ronaldo has become an incredibly wealthy man, and because of that, he's been able to buy some stupid things. Stupid expensive. All young and old people have Cristiano Ronaldo living in their minds rent-free. A professional billionaire football player who happened to go on a date with his girl at London's most bougie and expensive restaurant, Scott's, and he couldn't find anything that looked good enough, or, you know, like, expensive enough, probably. So, the waitress presented him with a secret menu that was listed with $10,000 of, like, worth of items. Which definitely was more his speed, <laughs> yeah. He went with a wine that he could only afford, and as for me, I can hardly pronounce its name. It's $27,000 wine. Yes, he splashed $27,000 on two bottles of the most expensive red wines in just 15 minaroonies. Yeah. That's minutes for the uninitiated. Sharing it with the table, which shows that money isn't too much of a problem for this guy. Man, I mean, I really got a party with this dude, like, real soon. And adding to this, the dude has some crazy expensive watches, too. I mean, obviously. More crazy expensive watches is what I meant. And more about that watch, that watch was customized, especially for Ronaldo, and featured 424 white diamonds. The timepiece basically cost $1.8 million, which is a lot of money for a watch, in case you were wondering. 
Moving our spotlight again to Neymar won't be as unfair as he's grown up in the worst of situations. Now, you better believe me when I say worst, because when he was a kid, he used to live in a place where people threw garbage. Every day, as he played for soccer in the fields, the other kids used to bully him, making fun of his teeth. But he didn't let that come in his way, and today he's one of the best footballers in the country. With that bullied smile, he signed some hefty deals, but Neymar gave his bullies a surprise by rendering his smile spending $80,000. I mean, look at that dang smile. That's an $80,000 smile right there. At age 21, he was one of the most encouraging youthful players on earth. Yet, he's as of now had a special interest in the world's most insane competitor with a progression of puzzling off-field indiscretions. A guy that spent million dollars on a crime is none other than Mario Balotelli. The guy did a lot of crimes, keeping in mind his money, which had to be cashed out, so he was like, you yeah, know, why not? Why not own my own crimes? One of the most wildest football players had to be splurged on a $180,000 Maserati and a $250,000 Bentley Continental GT. Now, what matters here is what he actually did with them. You see, Mario soon realized that he's no ordinary guy, and he just has to stand out. I mean, come on, boy, you're already 6'3", get a grip, you stand out. Anyways, this guy, in order to stand out, ignored the police and started parking his cars wherever he wanted to, and the reason he gave is kind of even crazier. He says he is tired of walking to his car. Yeah, he's just gonna park like halfway up the sidewalk into a building just because, why not? I mean, what are they gonna do? Well, they did something, so I hope that was fun for you. So clearly, Balotelli didn't really focus on the driving rules when he moved to Manchester. Therefore, he achieved five figures worth of parking fines, and the dude had his white Maserati seized, but, well, Balotelli really didn't focus on the driving rules when he moved to Manchester. Therefore, he achieved five figures worth of parking fines, and he had his white Maserati seized at multiple locations, and Mario learned nothing from its boy is still on the same path. I mean, okay, boy, you got money. Talking about Jerome Boateng, the guy is built different. As he realized that Mercedes and Bentley are not attracting much attention, he dived into some old classic jewelry and made himself a $100,000 Ademars Piguet with a diamond bezel and a 30 carat stones, cubit linked chains, all flooded the diamonds. Damn. People really be spending millions on mansions, but Jerome decided to jewel up his wrist. Audemars Piguet Holding SA is a Swiss manufacturer of luxury mechanical watches headquartered in Switzerland, in case, you know, you wanted to buy something. It's normal to buy overly stupid stuff when you've got that much money, but hello, it is not normal to flood your barber with $6,600 for a haircut. I mean, wow. But years back in 2003, for signing a deal with a brand, Beckham spent $6,600 on a single haircut. But behind all this comes our boy's smartness. He just signed a four-year long deal, which made him millions of dollars, but let's just come back to being the barber. I would love this to do to just come into my shop. I mean, you know, come in as often as he wants, right? Wayne Rooney owns himself a $77,000 lawn. At least it's way better than spending dollars on a haircut. Rooney ruled the football grounds and Rooney has sheer dominance in football fields and is one of the best football players and is now following his legacy. He's continuing with it while he's on his lawn. His wife, too, participates in his expenses and they're both literally out of ideas on how to cash out. Maybe they can adopt me. All right, I mean, maybe not. I kind of like my life. Now Rooney's expenditure list does not end up here. Up next are his horses. As England's unsurpassed driving goal scorer, it's not shocking that Wayne Rooney has gotten an assortment of staggering, if once in a while odd-looking properties throughout the long term. With an expected total asset of up to $170 million, the 35-year-old remains one of football's most extravagant stars ever flaunting homes as well as horses, and horses as well as homes, across the globe, including an astounding five million Barbados cushion. I mean, the guy has really highlighted his passion. And isn't this kind of expected from a British guy? No? Is that, is that nationalist? Is that presumptuous of me? Sorry. His love for horses was just so big that it made him spend $115,000 on three beautiful ones that made him only, uh, $7,400 in race, but of course the love is the important component here. Footballers under the new Richie Rich of today, they really just be getting their hands on basically anything and everything. The list gets crazier if we move alongside, and I guess you guys are gonna lose your mind if I don't end the video here. So I'm gonna do that for your sanity, cause I'm a nice guy.
But anywho, so thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video about footballers that are stupid rich, spending stupid money on stupid things. But hey, you want to know it's free and not stupid at all? Leave a like. Leave a like, please. Leave a like, please. And maybe subscribe to my channel. That's about it. Later, guys.